Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco, and today we're going to talk about why you want to write unit tests. What do they give you as a programmer? And they give you four things. The first is specifications. This is the intent of what you want your code to do. And as soon as you have that intent, the next thing they give you is feedback. Are you actually satisfying that intent with the code you just wrote? After you have satisfied that, they give you regression. And this is what I think most people think of when they hear the word test. Does it ensure that my code is working? And then, once you have regression, if something goes wrong, it gives you granularity. Not just has something gone wrong, but a smaller box of where something has gone wrong. So let's take a look at a common code scenario using these four principles. And the first, of course, is specifications. So here we are, we're in C-sharp, and we are going to be using uh, Visual Studio with the Code Rush plugin for approvals and I'm writing a TiVo application so the first part here is to launch it right? so very simple my do ah, sorry first I need a test method uh, for launching TiVo and so I have two parts of a test the do and the verify but this do is very simple we are just creating a TiVo app and it's going to be a form so right now I'll just create a new form and then the verify and the verify in approvals is always the same always very simple it's going to be approvals dot approve and pass the object that you've just created which in this case is a form All right, and so we have specified very easily what we want to do but we haven't got a lot of specification right now in the result the verification so let's go into that and make it a little bit better so I am going to use the code rush plugin here get to the approve file and get the file path for that and then I'm going to go into MS paint and what do I really want here well I'm looking for a little application that sort of has a box over here and a box over here some way to get the TV shows from one to the other All right so this is going to be TV shows and this is going to be the DVR and then of course it'd be nice to have a little description of what those shows are right so some sort of description here all right and I think that's a pretty good uh, specification here I'm going to save it using that file path that I got and I'm going to save it as a PNG file and so let's save that And now let's run the test. All right, so here I have a description of what I wanted to have and did not match, so this test is going to fail. And of course, I haven't done anything yet, so I don't have anything here. Great. So this immediately moves us now into feedback. I need to know that what I'm programming is going to produce that result. So let's go into here and let's do a little bit of code. Right. So I have some source sitting here. And now I'm not actually showing you what I'm coding. So if my feedback mechanism is working well, you should be able to figure it out anyways. All right, so this is what I've gotten here. We can see that I have satisfied the sort of initial graphics thing, but I'm missing the description. So let's code a little bit more. Run our test again. And now you can see that we've gotten that description right, but we're still not populating with our TV shows. So let's go and code yet a little bit more. All right, and now we've gotten where we wanted to go. And now we move on to the third part, which is regression. So I want this test now to pass. So again, using the thing, I'm gonna approve it. It will move the file over and rerun the test. And you can see right here that we now have a passing test. Which brings us to the last part, which is granularity. So we continue coding later on and we change stuff. So does it break? 
Yes, it does. Okay, so now this is what we have previously said was what we wanted, and this is what we got. But there's so many things here, it's hard to see. So I'm going to use my diff tool, and we're using tortoise diff here to just overlap the images. It's still a little hard to see, so let's use yet the other thing of doing the differential. Uh, okay, now I have exactly what has changed. It's right here in those two little buttons. So let's put it back there, and now we can see side by side. This add button has added an arrow, and this remove button has added an arrow. And now I've got really good granularity on what has changed. Now this could be a bug, in which case I need to change my code, or it could be added features that I actually want, in which case I nearly merely need to reapprove my code. So reiterate, we have specifications, and normally this is the area that BDD has focused on. We got feedback, and this is the area that TDD has normally focused on, that red green, red green. Then we got regressions. And that's the area that has been mainly focused on by acceptance testing and programs like Selenium or FIT. And then late, or lastly, we have granularity. And again, I think TDD is the one that's focused the most on this small little test to isolate exactly what has gone wrong. But you can get all of them very quickly and easily if you use approval tests. I'm Llewellyn Falco, and I approve this demo.